DXF Importer Tutorial Number 1 Importing a Line Drawing In the CarveRight Designer software, go to File, Import, Import DXF File. The DXF Import software will then open and prompt you to choose your file. Browse and locate the desired DXF file and select Open. Once the importer opens the file, you will see its elements displayed in a red color. This indicates that the lines are selected. Click off to the side of the design to deselect these lines, and they will now turn blue. You can click on individual elements of the design to alter or move them. You may also drag a selection box over multiple pieces to select a group. The opening window is in the Scaling tab. Here you may scale the complete design, or even single elements of the design, and set the desired units of measurement. The next tab is the Auto Connect tab, which allows you to join your lines together if they are separated at the ends. This is covered in more detail in the DXF Importer Tutorial Number 2. The third tab is the Boards tab. This is where you add boards, or workpieces, to the workspace and position your designs to fit them. Let's look at the new board dimension boxes here. The first box indicates the total size of the selected area. You'll notice we see the same dimensions that we saw for the design in the scaling window. The next window here is for the margin. By default, it will always add half an inch on all sides to ensure that the board can travel through the machine without a jig. In this last box, we see the total board size calculated. Select the Add Board button. We now see the board appear in the design window, indicated by the pink outline. We also see a dotted line indicating the margin. Let's add 3 inches to the length margin to make sure that we can stay under the rollers at all times. Select Apply Changes and the dotted line will change accordingly. Your DXF design is now ready to move to the CarveRight Designer software. Select Finish and the design will be exported to the Designer software and the project will be created. Once imported into the Designer software, we can see the design on a board just like a normal project. Select all of the lines in the design, and let's use a little-known tool called the Select Depth Profile. This tool allows for different V or bullnose carving styles. Select a profile, indicate what depth the cut should be at, and select OK. The line work will display with the profile you selected. Choose the Reverse Profile tool to flip the direction of the cut, adjust the depth, or select the tool again to change the profile completely. With the Route tool, you may adjust the profile even further by adjusting the control points. Once the design is adjusted to our satisfaction, we'll add some other elements to complete the project. Add text or other patterns to finish off the design, then save and upload it to the memory card. Mm -hmm.